All right, fellas, here we go. Once again, we're back with another episode of the OGs of the DMV show. That's just this little baby me. Huh? <laughs> that little baby me. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. <laughs> These are my boys, Trey Z and Big Al. Everybody know that because you watch the show. We appreciate you hitting the subscribe button, hitting that thumbs up, and subscribing mostly. <laughs> let's get let's get this thing to a thousand before the season starts. <laughs> That's what we trying to do. We trying to do that because we love the Washington Commanders, man. We love to wear everything in Washington D.C. Wizards, Capitals, baseball. I forget the name of that one. Washington Nationals. Nationals. There you go. We don't Mystics. Do we don't do that show, so either. Uh, defenders. Oh, Huh? Sidebar, sidebar, man. What's up? I, I, I'm, I'm gonna look in the camera and say this, man. Steve, Stephen A. Smith, you didn't have to go off on our mystics like that when he was talking. He was talking about Caitlin oh, Clark no. and how she scored 30 on the win list, never won nothing before mystics. I dare you, sir. The <laughs> mystics got a championship, right? Fellas? Don't they, they got do. a championship? They do. No, so I, I, I know Caitlin's team. I ain't think they got a, ever got a chip. So I just want to make sure we shout out that situation. Steven, it's hey. wrong. Bama. Smith, Bama, Bama will say what Bama say. But we getting back to the wisdom to the uh, commanders, man. We love the commanders. We're gonna do this show real quick. Uh, we're going into the off season for real, in between mini camps and the regular camp. And we're here to talk about the maturation of, of Jake Daniels on the Washington Commanders. Because at this point, even though we haven't gotten into any hitting or any pads, he's obviously better than Marcus Mariota. <laughs> that is Mariota. He's obviously better than Sam. May I say it? How? He's obviously better than any quarterback that's on our team at this moment. So we had to figure out whether this guy coming into camp is going to be able to put up with the pressure. Because right now they're pretty vanilla, as I, as I noticed. They're vanilla in their structure. And I'm assuming that the defense is going to get a little more intricate, a little sneakier. And we're going to see if he can handle an NFL defense. But as for now... He is definitely quarterback number one. Even though he may be taking quarterback number two snaps every now and then, he's quarterback number one. That's just beyond the spot the situation. Right? You are correct, sir. Wait, Everybody wait. Knows wait. This. Wait. Let's be honest. This is the second time you're going to stop the show. I, I know. I know. Because Al, I'm, you, you chime in. This is not This is not a start, man. We, we for, You forgot. Who we are. I didn't need to say. I was getting there. You take it too long. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do it. Start it up. All right. Let's, Let's get it. it. You don't know. Yeah, you don't, yeah. You don't know who you mess up with. Uh, uh, you don't know who you mess up with. I run you up and down the Serengeti. Heads ain't ready. I chew you up and spit you out like chicken confetti. My rhymes are heavy like elephants, stomping your regiments. Dismembering all your limbs, ripping your ligaments. I break you down to an atom, change your chemical structure. Roots and culture. You don't want to vote with this brother. I'm like a time bomb. What with fresh can of Wilsh? Apple stylus, plexiglass. Got you face down in the grass, ready to blast. Sticky for your jewels and your cash. Call me Robin Hood. Take the loot back to the hood. I wish you would try to retaliate. I wait like a sniper. Beat you like Street Fighter. I heat you up like a lighter. Don't need no ghost writer. Original skill. Killing that wheel. Terminate career like the pill. This is real. Not no fiction. Came up for my jurisdiction. I'm liver than you. Whether freestyle or written. Hitting hard like a hammer. Like a natural disaster. Like a hurricane. Plain and simple. Bringing the pain. Won the battle. What, 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 what? I'm ready to do this beat your Lewis, play you Anyway, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Stop all the time fooling. We're gonna talk about this guy, Jaden Daniels. He is the number one quarterback that we have. We're looking forward to a nice 
good career with the Washington Commanders. He's obviously a studied young man, a smart young man, one who knows football. He's a football nerd, they say. He's always in the gym. He's always at practice. The man shows up at 530 in the morning at the facility. Beats everybody there. Matter of fact, they had to ask him, what time does he get there so that the other people can show up at the same time? <laughs> it's just like it's just like when he was at the college, when he was doing the five thirty uh, sessions. Then he brought the receivers into uh, the booth with him. Now he's doing the same thing. Matter of fact, he didn't even have to do that. He didn't have to ask. I believe uh, McCarthy asked him what time he showed up, and just started showing up. That's leadership. Attitude reflect leadership, Captain. That's leadership a example. By yes. Very good example. Very good. That's so, great. As we, as we know, it's a big thing. Sometimes you lead by example. Sometimes you lead by what you say. This guy apparently is leading by both. You know, and everybody seems to be on board. We talking about pain. We talking about defense and offense. Every time you ask somebody about Jaden Daniels, they got nothing but good things to say about him. Nothing but good things to say about him. This He's is true. This is true. Right. Handling everything right, very important. What you say, Big Al? I mean, well, I said this is true. Deacon's right. Um, everything is is all good reports and everything, and everybody's happy. But, and I'm excited as a fan and as a fan of Jaden Daniels and a fan of the Commanders that things are looking good. But unfortunately, like Mike Tyson said, everybody has a plan until they start hitting. So then we're gonna know what he is and what he ain't. Yeah. Until they started hitting, mm -hmm. we, like Tyson said, you get everybody got that plan to get punched them out right there, ain't that right, digging? So we're gonna it's find true. out in August when they started hitting where we at and where we not, you know. But it sounds good though, everybody's happy, and I'm happy, and he looks good, and he's he's nice and smooth and quick release. Look at these dimes, he you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's directing and. He's joking and playing, and all that's good. And everybody's yes, 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 yes. What What did he say to Mariota? Let's 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 put the words in his mouth. <laughs> I <laughs> told you. <laughs> you, owe, you owe me fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. <laughs> I mean, on the run, he's throwing into diamonds. Yeah, I wonder yeah. if they're calling uh, colors, or they just throwing them in the boxes. Because this is this is this is. Trey, you, we was talking before the show started. This is something that uh, if either we missed it or we hadn't seen before. This little drill, I'm sure they throw it in the net or whatever. I've seen them throwing it into buckets, but this guy seems to be able to do anything at this point. I mean, obviously he's throwing against air right now, but it looks good. We, we've seen people throw against the air and miss. Yeah, we have. Yeah. We have Carson Wentz. We saw him over and everything. So I'm just gonna call his name out because we have seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, what do y'all think, think about this guy though? I mean, obviously we we picked him really high, and he's been showing up pretty much where we thought he. What's up with the commercial, man? Pretty much every, <laughs> every, every every day we thought he would. So does this change the calculations of wins that you guys think that's gonna happen? Or oh, we're gonna go through a season where he's up and down because he's a rookie. Yeah. Yeah, let's slow down. I know it's good to see him. Hey, our quarterback position step up. But then, we're, what what what's going to happen if he lives up to the expectation? It's going to do one or two things, which is going to expose and or confirm our talent that we have on offense, because it will no longer be that excuse, right? So mm -hmm. if he's constantly scrambling and running around, and because our receivers aren't getting open. Hmm. If he's if he's throwing the ball and um, Bama's is dropping them, hmm. Hmm. it's gonna it's gonna do some other things. And so it it's it's it, and and you know what's funny? Terry might not be his number one. You know, it, it's a rhythm thing with quarterbacks. So we're gonna see some stuff. You know, Al always talk about the receiver club. He, out of a scale of one to five, Al gives our receivers 2.5 all every year. So he's either going to raise that up so Al can give him a solid four, or it's going to expose that Al was right. <laughs> 2.5. And that is going to be something because that's something that we really didn't 
you know, uh, in the free agency and or draft. Well, Trey, but but if you think about it, Terry wasn't all of the court. I mean, the guy had ten quarterbacks. He out of the quarterbacks, he wasn't always the number one quarterback, but he always got a thousand yards. That's facts. So okay. I'm think I'm thinking, you know, with with a uh, a guy like this who's obviously talented. Um, I'm at least in a third thousand yard season. If somebody else doesn't get a thousand yards, also, now I'm putting a lot of pressure on the boy. That's a lot of that's you know that's a lot of throwing the ball. But if, like I said, if our talent is what we think it is or what we claim it is, we should be throwing the ball to open receivers. Correct. Because that was the problem last year, right? That uh, your boy couldn't see over the line and he wasn't reading the defense properly. So he wasn't getting that ball out on time. That's why he was taking a lot of sacks. So this offense is more of a, a, a keyed in offense where it's a timing offense. So you shouldn't be back there holding the ball because you shouldn't know where to go with the ball when you read the defense and when you get to the line. And that's where Biotish is going to come into effect because he's going to have to call the uh, the defense and call the, uh, the blitzes and stuff like that. He's going to have to call the, the line structure. So it leaves him... Uh, uh, Daniels to be able to just play quarterback, at least for his rookie year, until he understands how to call uh, the blitz packages on uh, NFL defenses. But Deacon, what, so is, right what, is, what is Beatrice's name, though, Deacon? What is it? Badass! Tyler Badass! Bad we yeah. said it here first. That's right. Yeah, not everybody's saying We said it for uh, Coach said it. Then they started saying it on other shows. I'm like, come on, man. Come on. We called that mm-hmm. out before... When he when he when he got drafted when he got drafted well, when he brought him over here that was his name. We well, hey, coach, everybody hey, name. hey, coach, thanks for watching the show, coach. Thanks hey, for we watching. Appreciate the show. We appreciate hey, that. Hey, number who's number forty one is our new tight end, isn't it? I don't. Well, who? Uh, um, the, uh, the, one get, the, the one we draft. No, no, I think he. I think he's it. Well, he might be. Was it, that was was that forty one? That was forty one. Did you saw him behind there? No, no, catching the ball. I mean, I've been watching 41 man going and grabbing it high. He's purposely grabbing it high. And I like that. They're showing him hands. He's not trying to put it in his chest. None of that. Not like Coach just did. He's catching it high. He's getting up there. That's that's good. I was just, I think that's well, our new tight end. Yeah, well, he's going to get a significant amount of playing time. Uh, cause it, just because Zach Ertz is old, you know, so he's going to need some breaks. But they, you know, they, they would talk about running 12, uh, 12 personnel where you have two tight ends in the game. And they're talking about um, uh, having uh, 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 Eckler all over the field. He said he's lined up in, in uh, running back. He's lined up in the slots. He's lined up in the wide receiver. He's lined up in uh, when they're doing uh, screens, jet sweeps. He said he's all over the place in practice. So he's, he's uh, the Swiss Army knife. But that's the that's the uh, benefit of having a veteran, you know, and a and an athletic one at that. Yeah, so yeah. That's that's what we're gonna. We say I, I, I like I like how the coaches are smiling. Just that alone is um, interesting because we didn't see a whole lot of that in the last couple of years. It's like they're out there having fun. They're excited. Hey, 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 that emotion is infectious. You get a bunch of people out there excited about winning. You might start to believe in yourself. You know, you're not sitting around there too serious, but at the same time, you're not, you know, being silly, silly. You know, you're, 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 you're teaching. Your overall, yeah, teaching. your overall experience is positive, man. Positive vibes, move positive things. So, I'm just trying to figure out who got Cooley's number. Who's 47? That 47? There you go. Is that him? That's 41. 41? Mm-hmm. Yep. All his catches are high. He get up there and he pulls it down. He does not let it hit his chest. I mean, I mean so down, you know, with Jaden Daniels, the ball really doesn't hit the ground a lot. You know, that's a great thing. Um, one of the things that Payne said, I saw an interview that Payne did. One of the interviews that Payne said was that, which the, the Trey Z's been hollering about, Mr. Always Right been hollering about, you yep. never seen so many coaches coaching. Right, <laughs> he ain't seen, he's seen this many coaches in that forever. Yeah, yeah, man, he said his coaches everywhere out there. Yeah. <laughs> they coach, <laughs> they got an offensive line coach, they got a pass rush coach, yeah. they got, they got yeah. a running coach, they got a distant coach, and that a coach. 
They got a lot of coaches. A lot of coaches. But if you think about it, man, that's what that's that's how you get ahead. I mean, you have a certain limit of players you can have. You got a certain kind of way you can get the player. You got a certain uh, uh, amount that you can carry during the week or a carry during, during the season during the week. Yeah, certain amount you can take to the game. Certain amount you can keep on the practice squad. But you can have as many coaches as you want. You can have a coach for every player if you want. There's no hmm. limit to coaches. I never knew that till now. I thought that was a limit. To coaches, there's no limit yeah. to coaches. Mm-mm. Interesting. Nah. Interesting. Like I said, Payne said he's never seen so many coaches. I mean, it's like coaches everywhere. I mean, every, you know, like I said, and he's it's a good thing. He, he's enjoying it. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody's in unison. Everybody knows what they're talking about. You know, there's, there's no one's overlapping each other. There's no one, no arguments. It's, you know, boom, boom, this is it. This is how we played it. This particular position, blah, blah, blah. You know, and you got three people that know what's, <laughs> how to do it. That's all. So yeah. that, that's a good thing. Um, again, like I said, you know, for the, the big guys, we're not going to know anything about the big guys in the progression until they put the pads on, you know. So I'm interested in seeing um, Coleman at left tackle. I heard he got some left tackle time this week. He looked good, they said, but of course, um, you know, there's no no pads on. So we had to. We, we, that's one of the key positions, I think, is uh, Coleman. You know, at the left tackle position, or what we're going to do with that left tackle position. Well, I heard that um, in the beginning he was uh, overextending himself. I, you know, I'm just talking with. I think a Logan Paulson said this. Uh, he was overextending his reach, and he was getting out of position. And then he corrected that later on. Like in, in, in rookie minicamp, he was overextending himself. And then in uh, volunteer OTAs, he got better. And now he's not overextending himself. Now he was saying that, you know, there's no, there's just straight rushes right now. There's no packages to beat a guy right now. So you don't know what they're going to do by then. But he's obviously getting better at the position. And they still don't know whether they're going to put him at guard or tackle. That's but, right. You know he's getting better with the technique, and that's that's all you want. Really, that's what that's what all this is about: getting right. prepared for the season, which is getting your technique right and getting fit for the season. Well, gentlemen, I really do feel like uh, this is positive. Right before they go and take a break, uh, we just hope. So, what do you think that if you were a coach and you know you're giving your team a break after such a positive OTA? What do you think you want for your players? What are you telling them as they go off for six weeks? I, uh, listen, I, I would sit, I would sit the whole team down and be like, "Listen, you veterans know what you should be doing. You know what you shouldn't, should not be doing. Show up on time and out of jail. <laughs> Don't get in trouble. That's all we want. Don't get in trouble. Come back ready to play at, at mini camp, at, at uh, camp. Rookies." Go home, practice, study. Don't hang out. Don't take the newfound fame and money that you got and want to hang out in the clubs because you got a lot of people want to pull you down. They're going to target you. They're going to try to get you off your game. Go home. Matter of fact, find a couple players to go and practice with that's on your position. Quarterbacks and receivers, get together. Uh, Lyman, get together. You, you guys need to be ready to grow when you get back. Don't go out there trying to put a crown on and then come back and you got court dates coming up because then you're not going to be on the team. So you got to protect your future, not your, your current status. Come back ready. All right, Coach Deacon, like that. What about you, Big Al? I'm telling them, man, look, you know, we had a solid training mini camps so i think they started doing all that stuff what in the was it april they started around the first of april and here it is now in, uh june they were pretty much practicing lifting running i'm telling them you know at least take two weeks off of football two weeks get your body right relaxed get your mind cleared you know i agree with deacon stay out of jail but you know Enjoy yourself for two weeks, then take that four weeks before practice and start fine tuning everything. Like Deacon said, that's that last four weeks start fine tuning because you, you want to come back, relax. You don't want to just 
Saturate yourself. Nice catch. Saturate yourself. Forty one. <laughs> nice. Uh, saturate yourself with football. You got a whole year to go, so you got to get your break in, and then when you come back out, you're ready to roll. That four weeks before um, camp, you know what I'm saying? Get your get your body right because you want to be in tip top shape on that first day because we are competing. We are competing for positions. Every position should be up for grabs, probably for the sake of this number five. Everybody else is competing. You know what I'm saying? So get ready to to have competition to you know get your spot. You know, because everybody's trying to get that bag. So that's why I would tell my team. Hey Trey, before you go and, and give the speech of the century. Hey, I'm just I'm just I'm looking at this dude, man. I know, I know the statistics on it. He don't look that skinny to me. Nah, man, I think that was. I agree with you. He's definitely bigger than JJ. Oh, JJ, JJ, JJ. Trey, what do you say? What are you gonna tell the team? Uh, I, both of you guys pretty much nailed it on the head. Except I would add this. I would tell everybody, veterans included. I need y'all because. In this regime, it's all about IQ. I need y'all in your playbook. I need you in your playbook. I need you to learn your play, and I need you to know the next man's play. I need you to I need you to be cerebral out there on defense and offense. I need you guys to be focused on making and representing your craft. As you're making this money, like Al said, and hey, let's 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 get it. As as I would say, all those other things that you guys said. Because if you don't do that, when we make those adjustments, or Jaden calls that audible, or bad badass calls the audible, you know what to do. You know when the defense sees the shift and. And um, your boy Wagner's not on the field. You know what to do. You got an idea. I want you guys to be uh, veterans of not just years in, but your experience plays out as you study other teams. You look at their strengths. You, we're gonna we're gonna hit their weaknesses. We're gonna get out there. We're gonna we're gonna be a different crew of individuals. And then if we just go out there and play our hearts out. You know, just play our hearts out. Will everybody be fine? No matter what the record is. The last couple of years, we just watched individuals just be out there, man. Like I'll never forget. We always tease your boy about we can be eliminated. But one of the things that your boy said, um, who was that? Uh, he was like, man, we just was waiting for the season to be over. Sweet. And that was like week. Yes, that, that, that was like week what? Five. It was, it was crazy. <laughs> It was bad. He was like, "What?" That's what he said. He said, "Yeah, man, we just wait for the season to end. We done. We're in this." And so that is a cancer. I don't ever want to hear that again. Yeah. Hey, I would just want to before we move on, look at the size. Now think think about uh, uh, Sam Howe as six one or six foot, whatever he was. Jake is six four, and look at look at Sam, a uh, badass over there. And imagine dropping behind your center and he like that tall and that big. Right. You and he that short. Right. Yeah. <laughs> trying, to, trying to see around. This dude trying to block a hell for you. You can't, you can't see around him. See, I told y'all that. You Well, you saw it with your boy. Uh, well, that's, that's, a, that's a center. That's, that's a prototypical center right there. You know what you yeah, saw with a, your boy. That's I a big need, boy. I need to eat with throw the ball with his eyes closed. He's like, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Yankoff. That's his name. Yankoff. Yankoff, yeah. Hey, yeah, that's a big boy right there, boy. Yankoff was, was catching the ball, man. I'm just nah, Yank, they say Yankoff got talent, man. They say he can play almost any position. So he may make the team as a as a UDFA, man. It's gonna be a couple of them anyway, because they like uh they like a couple of those guys. What does Jacob play? What's his position? He doesn't have one. He does out there. He gets yeah. out there. And they, well, he, basically, he, that was his practice. Yeah, he, he listed as a, he, he listed as a uh, a tight end, I think. 
Mm. Well, he plays all over the field. So he can play. He, well, yeah, I don't want to say I, I can't call out right now, but I know he plays in a lot of positions on the field. And that's the thing they like about him. Because you can bring you can you can play him on Sunday, you can dress him on Sunday and not have to use up a couple positions uh for uh, backups. You know what I'm saying? You can really carry more linemen during the during the season because he plays you don't have to carry an extra uh, uh tight end because he can play tight end. You don't have to carry an extra lineman because he plays line. You don't have to carry you know what I'm saying? So they, they like that. But he's obviously been showing up too, so yeah. That's what I can see. That's all. I just like how you grabbing that ball out that sky. Yeah. Oh, that's forty-one. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was um, the other type. That was a tight, the real tight. I thought it was what's his name? Um, Senate. Ben Senate. Senate. Yeah, I, I thought, thought it was Senate. Yeah. But it wasn't. It was Yanko. I just saw his yeah. his um, name. Well, he's grabbing that ball. Like, see if I didn't like him. That's right there. Eighty-two is Senate. Oh, eighty-two is Senate. Okay. Yeah. That's the rookie. So anyway, obviously we're running out of tape because these boys starting to talk. Fellas? Yes. We're going into the desert for the next four weeks. Six weeks. No, we're not. No, we're not, because the OGs will be back on for those individuals who just subscribed and those individuals who have been long-term subscribers. And those individuals about to push that subscribe button right now because it's free. And you get to see us all the time. We get the great content we have on our guests. We got uh, top of the line individuals that we've been talking to over the time. And we really, really put our effort into just like we're trying to get the players to put our effort into the field. We put it into this content. So we expect you guys to go ahead. You don't have to hit the likes all the time. Just hit that subscribe button one good time. And we promise you a good time. And hit the bell. Hit the bell. We do a lot of shows. So hit the bell and let you know when it come on. You catch it when you catch it. That's all good. At least you know it's on there and ready for your week. Fellas, let's get out of here. That's let's go, on. baby. Washington Commanders are going on vacation, but we are not. Yes, we'll sir. be here. Fellas, next nope. time.